Hi everyone, this is Lisa from audiblemarketing.com. A quick video about showing you how to set up Pamela for Skype. Just change some of the settings to make it best quality and uh, best usability for recording Skype interviews for podcasting. I'm doing this especially for my friend Mud, who uh, I know online. She's in Canada, in Montreal in Canada. And uh, you may know her better as Ozamea. Um, that's not with my best French accent, but um, hopefully you'll know who I mean. Uh, certainly, I hope Oza knows who I'm talking about. And she had a question. She's just bought Pamela for Skype. And people were saying to her, a really good thing to do would be to record your interview. So you're on one um, track and the other person is on a different track and we'll talk about that in just a moment so I'm going to just show you some quick settings to sort out first before you get to that point now the first thing is you want to make sure that your Skype settings are set up uh, first uh, you want to go to options And you just want to make sure your sound settings are or audio settings are okay and that's simply to make sure it's recording or it's playing through the microphone and the speakers you've chosen. In my case, I've got a Plantronics headset at the moment and just check that the levels are okay. That's your general Skype settings. If you don't know what Skype is, if you're just new to Skype, Skype is a VoIP program. It's uh, something you set up on your computer and basically you can chat to anybody anywhere in the world for free as long as they have Skype. So you can do Skype to Skype calls. Alternatively, if you have Skype but the person you're ringing, maybe you want to do an interview with somebody, then you just add some Skype credit and you do a Skype out call, which basically means you use Skype, but you can call somebody's landline or mobile line and you can chat to them through that and you can record in that way as well. But in order to record Skype, you need a program like Pamela. In fact, personally, I think Pamela's the best one to record Skype on a PC. And I am on a PC. Oh, so I forgot to check whether you were Mac or PC. So what you're seeing may look slightly different if you're on a Mac, but for PC, Pamela for Skype is the best. If you're on a Mac, uh, Pamela, I believe, works on Mac anyway, or you might want to use Call Recorder, which works for a Mac as well. Now we're going to set up our settings, and you can either go to, uh, let's see, where is it? Sound here, because we're going to do our sound settings first, or just go to Tools and Options, it's easiest. I'm doing sound first. This isn't in the main thing I wanted to show Oza, but just to get your settings right for Pamela as well. So we're going to go to the sound setting on the left. You've got your options panel. Just want to make sure that my input device, my microphone, is being read as my Plantronics headset and that my output device is also the same. It says you can automatically copy device settings from Skype. I prefer not to do this because I sometimes find that Skype resets my audio settings. And it may be because not when I'm using Skype, when Skype's closed down I'm often changing headphones or microphones depending on what I'm using but just in case Skype does reset I want my recording device to be, I want Plantronics to be recognized. The other thing is the sound quality. Now my personal preference for recording is in WAV files and this is partly to do with my preference for voiceovers in general. Always record in the highest quality possible. So I always record in WAVE and I always record 48,000 which is 48 kilohertz. Now these make huge files. WAVE files are very very large files and if that doesn't suit you then just take the tick off here and you will end up recording mp3 which is a compressed audio file now the audio quality the highest quality you can get is 24 kilohertz 16-bit mono 32 kilobits per second um, which is not a brilliant quality for an mp3 it's 
better than I would say a phone quality recording because phone quality is very compressed but still I for me that just leaves me a little uncomfortable on quality um, so I always go back to the WAV files but test it out trial it out with somebody you know who's got Skype record the recording re the conversation in different formats and see what you think is the best sounding um, if if WAV files are just too big for you to use then fine, record in MP3. Just make sure you're happy with it. And then if you make any changes, click apply at the bottom. And then we're going to go to the record call recording option. Uh, enable call recording. And I always set it as call recording time unlimited. I don't tend to do record anything that's more than an hour and a half. But just in case you're recording somebody and you're chatting and it's just a fantastic interview and you suddenly think, oh, I've got to keep recording, I've got to keep recording. See, you don't want Pamela to stop recording and you not realise. So make sure you've got really good recording length of time just in case. Now, I have got it set to automatically record outbound calls and automatically record inbound calls. That's to stop me forgetting no other reason but to stop me forgetting. You can just ask them to prompt you to record. That's fine as well. I don't like any more to tick this uh, enable call recording warning message and beep. And not that I don't want people to know, you must let people know you are recording a conversation. Legally, you really do need to let people know you are recording a conversation. Um, but if you press that, I found that just as they answer the phone call, you will get a voice, you'll get a beep, it'll go beep, this call is being recorded. And it just goes right over the top of the person answering the call, which you don't want. It's fine if you're calling a friend, but if you're calling somebody to interview them, and instead of hearing, hi, this is Lisa, just calling for our interview, you hear beep, this call is being recorded, you're getting the interview off on a really bad foot, you're putting them at, you're making them uncomfortable. And although you do need to tell them that you are recording the call, it's best not to have that message going over your introduction to them. So I disable that and you can set up a call recording folder, but don't worry, there is a default one. Pamela will uh, save your recordings anyway. Now, additional. This is the bit I wanted to show. Um, this can set your microphone settings and your speaker settings. That's fine. Two-way call recording mode. You can save the sound as one mono channel or you can save it in stereo mode. Why do you want to save it in stereo mode? Well, you want your recording to be on one channel and the person you're talking to be, to, to be on the other channel. The reason being that all sorts of things could be going on with their, ch record, their audio that aren't happening to yours or vice versa. You could be louder, they could be softer. Hopefully your quality of sound is better because you are going straight from microphone directly into your computer, whereas they're coming down the Skype phone line. Um, it's digital, but you know what I mean, the idea of there being a phone line through. So their quality is probably going to be reduced. They could have weird sounds, background sounds on theirs. So if you have them in separate streams, you can deal with them separately without having to change everything. So if you're louder than they are, you can make them louder without making you louder again. Or if they've got background noise, you can do a noise reduction on their channel without having to alter your channel. Oza, I hope that makes sense to you. I hope it makes sense to all of you. But Oza, if you're not seeing that, it may be if you're on a Mac, you're seeing something slightly different. But if you still can't see how to do what I've just shown you, then take some screenshots and I'll see if I can sort out the problem.